Hello Crafty! Welcome to our tutorial on this channel. My name is Rose and uh, I'll be guiding you through making this uh, lovely, simple, cozy uh, ear warmer pattern. By the way, did you see the bean stitch tutorial yet? If you haven't, I encourage you to because that is what we need. You need to know how to do the bean stitch to uh, crochet this ear warmer. So I've used a five millimeter hook and uh, a chunky yarn. This is cheap, just chunky monkey. Uh, yeah, it's more irony, yeah, but heavier than a normal worsted weight medium uh, for yarn. So you want to check the gauge of the pattern to ensure that, you know, the yarn you're using is uh, the right size. And uh, this pattern comes in three sizes, child, um, no, I mean four sizes. So this tutorial will show you how to crochet uh, the child size. It's very simple and straightforward. You might want to also see the written tutorial to have all the details, depending on the size that you want to make. Okay, let's dive in. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm showing you how to do the, uh, the child size. We're going to start with a foundation single crochet of 69. There is a tutorial on how to do that. Check the description or look up here and you will see uh, the tutorial. However, if you're not up for that, you can um, chain 70 and then you skip the first chain and do a single crochet into the second chain from hook and into each of the stitches across. For this tutorial, we're going to do the FSC foundation single crochet. So I'm going to do FSC 69. Oopsies. <laughs> Look at me. Okay, FSC. All right, uh, FSC. Usually when we do the FSC, we chain two before we begin. In this, you'll notice that I chain only one. And uh, sometimes I just like to follow my intuition when I'm crocheting. Uh, All right, uh, FSC, <coughs> excuse me, 69. Chain one turn. If you were working with the chains uh, by now, of course, you have 69 uh, stitches because you skipped the first stitch on uh, the row. That is row one. Okay, so uh, single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into each of the stitches um, across the row. Okay, chain one turn, repeat. One more row of uh, single crochet stitches. So single crochet into the first stitch and uh, into each of the stitches across the row. Okay, three rows of single crochet stitches. Row four, uh, on row four we begin uh, uh, the bean stitches. Chain one turn, uh, single crochet into the first stitch, skip and bean stitch into the next stitch. Chain one, skip next stitch, bean stitch in the next stitch. Skip next stitch, bean stitch in the next stitch. We're going to repeat across the row and okay, chain one and uh, skip one stitch, single crochet into the last stitch, chain one turn and another row of uh, bean stitches, single crochet into the first stitch, bean stitch into the bean stitch. 
chain one, bin stitch into the bin stitch. Chain one and bin stitch into each of uh, the stitches across the row and end with a single crochet in the last stitch. And single crochet into last uh, stitch. Chain one turn, repeat, um, repeat, <coughs> excuse me, more rows of bin stitches and we will end with uh, three rows of um, single crochet stitches. All right, we have seven rows of uh, bean stitches, three rows of single crochet stitches, seven rows of bean stitches, and uh, now chain one turn. Now we're going to complete it with uh, another three rows of um, single crochet stitches. So single crochet into the first stitch. Now all the stitches, the chain one and the top of the, uh, of the bean stitch, they count as stitches. So we're going to make a uh, single crochets into each of into each of those stitches single crochet in the chain one single crochet in the bin stitch or single crochet in chain one single crochet into the bin stitch row alternately you could uh, skip the chain one and uh, do if the chain one is too tight you work two bin stitches, I mean two single crochets into the top of the bin stitch, two single crochets, top of the bin stitch, uh, two single crochets all the way across the row. Okay, so we're uh, at the last stitch. In this last stitch, we're also going to make after the last two single crochets here because you know we switched from making single crochet into each of these stitches that is chain one and uh, top of a bin stitch into making two single crochets into the bin stitch only. It's uh, easier that way rather than struggling to work into the chain one because it was really tight. So this is the last stitch, the single crochet stitch. In this stitch, we're going to make two stitches. Remember that when we made this stitch on this row, we didn't chain one. We skipped a stitch, but we didn't chain one. So in here, we're going to finish off. Because if we finish off with only one stitch, we're going to have 68 stitches on here. But remember that we have 69 stitches at the beginning, at the bottom here. So we want to make, we want to have the same number of stitches up here. So we're going to make our two single crochets into uh, that last uh, stitch and uh, chain one and single crochet into each of um, the stitches across the row. Chain one turn, single crochet the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet into each stitch across We'll get to the end of the row, chain one, turn and make another row of uh, single crochet stitches. We're going to have three rows of single crochet stitches. Right, when we're done with our last three rows, we're going to snip the yarn. I'm going to leave a uh, tail so that we can use that to sew in. Okay. So we're going to sew from the wrong side. The right side is uh, Look at the right, the right side of the first row and the right side of uh, the last rows fall on the same place. So that is uh, the right side. So we want to sew from the wrong side.
once you're done you're gonna have this so uh it's going to feel a bit tight at the end so you, what you want to do is uh, stretch it out stretch it out stretch it out this way before it is worn okay so you can make as many as you want in all the colors you want and uh if you like buttons like me you could um embellish that 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 uh let's join uh sport with uh buttons i mean it's totally optional <laughs> it's uh it all depends on what you want thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial i look forward to seeing you in the next one and when you make your ear warmer don't forget to tag a young crafty on instagram or facebook and uh, let me see your version see you next time god bless you bye